Welcome everyone to this uh, live stream. So this live stream we are going to uh, quickly create this uh, this text effect here uh, with uh, with a very few steps. So I'm just going to put this on top here and so that we can recreate it. And so the first thing we have to do here is I'm just going to um, I'm going to analyze this uh, this this the steps that I did here so I'm gonna move this one over here so that's basically a blend and then this one is it's just an outline text I mean a, a text with white outline and also this one it's an it's a fill with a with a fountain fill so basically this one is blend uh, interactive fill or fountain fill and then this is just an outline so I'm gonna go undo it and then let's uh, let's start the uh, the uh, tutorial. So first, uh, I'm going to type in the create a word. So I'm just going to make that white for now so that we can see it. And then um, I chose the font. Um, I think EA Sport. And then I'm just going to go do it, do it this height. So and then uh, it's there's no italic for that font. So what I did, I just click again and then see this one. This is Q. So you can create an italic version of that by doing this, right? Okay. So so the first thing we have to do is we have to. Um, copy this one in the clipboard right so we go control C or you click on this one to copy because we're going to need that later on for these two uh, text here okay so now what if you look at this one it's um, it has a gradient fill but then it has a blend right so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my interactive fill and then I'm gonna click and drag going up and then okay sorry about that i i click on the wrong one so click here go to your interactive fill and then i i think it's better to go to the fountain fill here so that we can see it so click on fountain fill so you know the, because it's white to white that's why you can't see it but if I go, because you know this is yellow, so I click on this one and I click on yellow. And then this second gradient is it's like this fuchsia color. So I click on it and then go fuchsia, right? So now I'm just going to bring this down closer and this one. Okay, so that's fine. So now, now I already have this, so this is the this color here it might be a different yellow but that's all right and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go plus sign my keyboard and then bring this down like this and then what I'll do I'll make this one to front okay I'm gonna go to object and then order to front of page okay so that that should be the sequence like that and then I'm just going to select these two and I'm going to blend that, right? So I go to effects and click on blend. And then um, let's just say uh, 30 steps and then click on apply. Okay, so 30 is fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember we cut or we copy the, the text in the clipboard. So now we're gonna paste it. So that's the paste, right? So I paste it and then I'm going to make this blue, the gradient blue. So in order to go to the gradient blue, you can go interactive fill or once you click on the interactive fill, you can go to fountain fill here. And then you can uh, you can make the fountain fill um, say blue. Uh, so we're going to choose a different fountain fill we are going to use uh, not this one uh, we're going to use a different uh, fill sorry I'm gonna do that again because 
because I chose a fountain a gradient uh, transparent fountain wheel so I click on interactive tool and then you click and drag right so this one is going to be the other way around like this so this one will be the darkest blue which is this one and then this one I just click on it and it's going to be the brighter blue and then I'm just going to bring this down here like that okay and then again we also copy the text right so now we're going to paste it and then we're going to move it here I'm just going to move it here for now and I'm going to remove the outline so I mean the fill and then right mouse here to create the outline and I'm just going to double click here and then make this say four points or maybe three points like that and then click OK and then I'm just going to move it just somewhere there just going to offset a little bit so the text is a bit I mean the outline is a bit too thick so I'm just going to make that probably two there there you go so it's that simple so if you want to really match the color I'm just going to click on this one here and then there's also a copy properties from I don't know if you use that <clears throat> but I use that a lot if I want to <clears throat> make the same field properties so I'm selecting this one and I want the same properties of this I just go to edit and then copy properties from so I'm going to copy the properties of the fill right and click OK and then I'm just going to go into that oops I hit the wrong one so let's go back again copy properties from fill and then click OK I'm just going to make sure that I'm selecting the uh, the blue text I'm gonna zoom in again so copy properties from and I'm going to click on this one here there you go so now it's the same right so yeah so that's it that's like I said it's very quick effect and uh, and I hope you like it and um, I will see you tomorrow I I stream daily and uh, bye for now.